I'm not exactly sure, but I do believe this is Heavenly Album Covers. And we are going to start off with a fellow named Paul McNutt. Paul was from Kansas City. Not sure if it was Kansas City, Kansas or Kansas City, Missouri. But Paul had his own airplane and he was a pilot. And um, Paul does some uh, sacred standards on, on this album. Um, he even does the famous song by Bill Gaither called He Touched Me. And um, Paul has some very brightly tinted orange glasses here. He's got a nice smile. He's wearing some kind of uh, cocktail jacket or smoking jacket. Um, for some reason this album is faded up here. I guess it was stored in the sun somewhere. I assume that this was um, it had more of a saturation when it first was printed, but um, it looks still looks nice. Um, you have standard text writing here, and um, it's a nice cover. So there's Paul McNutt and his album, Paul Sings. Here's the next album here. By a gentleman named Dave Grant. This is a comical album cover. Um, Dave is sitting in a scale, on one side of a scale, and there he is in his blue suit. And uh, on the other side are uh, little boxes representing physical, mental, social, spiritual. So he's, um, on this album, he's talking about a, a balanced life to young people. And this album is called um, The Well-Rounded Square. It's an interesting album cover. It's, um, it's actually pretty nice. The colors are good. You've got a blue, yellow, red. Um, he's wearing his blue sports coat. And uh, this is on Word Records. Word was the Motown of Christian albums. Christian music in the 60s and 70s. Uh, they put out a lot of stuff and Word Records had uh, various offshoots. And finally we have Ruth Isham. Now this album cover is a little bit pr frustrating because uh, the title of Ruth's album are Here's the lettering for Ruth Isham. It's up here, but you can't really read it. It's on, it's in gray text, and her album is titled Sugar and Spice. Um, all the text is basically unreadable unless you're about two inches away from the album cover. Um, the composition of this cover is uh, striking. I'm not sure why they placed Ruth over to the right-hand side of the album cover. It um, it's very unusual. They could have put a house plant there or a tree, maybe, but um, they decided to put Ruth way over here. And um, Ruth does uh, standards, things like um, "I Left My Heart in San Francisco," and she plays solo instrumental music. We can get a better look at Ruth on the back cover. And this album is signed down at the bottom right-hand corner, 1972. And there's Ruth right there. She's up the piano. She might be playing something right now. And that's Ruth Isham and her album, Sugar and Spice.